Okay, dear Form 4 bio students, let's go. Uh, lymphatic system, lymphatic system, lymphatic system. I'll give you an idea what is interstitial fluid, how what is the lymphatic system on first. Okay, we don't go very detailed and confuse you there. So lymphatic system, we finish with this. Then uh, let's do the next next worksheet there. We'll do some exercise before we continue with the next chapter, like guys. Okay. So it used to be a little bit more longer with the plant part all previously in form five, but now you guys. This is the important part. Alarm. Let's come and finish up this lymphatic system. Totally a new system. We never learned in lower forms. Okay, never learned in new lower forms. Now. So let's see guys. Artery, the pass through, break down, break down, break down, break down, becomes capillaries, then God breathes. Okay. The blood, the blood at the artery here will be at high pressure. Capillaries need extremely small guys. The cheek, the cheek, all the blood vessels here, right? Capillaries here. Smaller blood vessels, which will surround the cells. Extremely, my drawing here can be a very big cup, but actually, the capillaries here are extremely small, 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 small capillaries. So, in between here, got cells, got cells, got cells. So, this artery, this one here will be the cells and all. So, this will be the capillaries, and this will be the wings. Again, can ask your exam. As the blood rushes from the artery to the capillaries, big diameter, small diameter, big diameter, small diameter, what pressure will change is hydrostatic pressure will change. What is hydrostatic pressure? Hydrostatic pressure is pressure change due to the diameter of the blood vessel. This one, large blood vessel is on small blood vessel. This one, large blood vessel is on small blood vessel. So as the blood rushes from high pressure to low pressure, the hydrostatic pressure will change. When the hydrostatic pressure changes, what is inside the blood vessel here? Got plasma, got red blood cells, got white blood cells, got platelets, nothing, right? All is okay. But what happens is plasma seeps out, seeps out, seeps out to bake the cells. Not red blood cells never come out, white blood cells never come out, platelets never come out. What comes out is Plasma comes out and then bakes the cell. When the plasma comes out and bakes the cell, the plasma now got a new glamour name. It's called interstitial fluid. That means what is interstitial fluid? Interstitial fluid is the plasma. But once it comes out, the glamour name changes. Now it becomes interstitial fluid. This interstitial fluid bakes the cell. By bathing the cell, it gives all the good good stuff to the cell. What is the good good stuff there? Gives nutrients, gives antibodies, whatever that is, whatever that is present in the plasma, I guess. So all the things that are present in the plasma is given to the cell. Then take out all the waste product. So what are the waste product taken out there? Like you know, urea, uric acid, carbon dioxide, they are not clear. So Mandi can the cell. But what, where did this interstitial fluid come from? Interstitial fluid is the plasma. So once it comes out, glamourine now becomes plasma. What comes out? Plasma comes out. Red blood cell never come out, white blood cell never come out, but plasma came out, became interstitial fluid. Most of the interstitial fluid, 90% of the interstitial fluid will go back to the veins. When it goes back to the veins, the glamourine is plasma by the future. Okay? Now, we must learn this new system called this lymphatic system. What is lymphatic system? So far, we're not sure about the lymphatic system, guys. Now, only we do the lymphatic system. Lymphatic system is a system that runs parallel with the blood circulatory system. That means it's another system that you have to learn that works with the blood circulatory system. This is the lymph capillaries. So, here for lymph capillaries. This lymph capillaries will do what? Now, guys, all this sucky, bucky, 10% of the interstitial fluid will be absorbed inside here now becomes lymph fluid so actually what is lymph fluid? lymph fluid is actually plasma inside the blood vessel it's known as plasma once it seeps out and comes out and bathes the cell then it's known as interstitial fluid the sucky bucky interstitial fluid 90% goes here sucky bucky the 10% there eh? now becomes part of the lymph capillaries that is known as the lymph this lymph fluid will continue journey, continue journey, continue journey there. In between, we'll have what is known as lymph nodes. What's the function of the lymph nodes? Lymph nodes here is to produce what is known as lymphocytes. What are lymphocytes? Lymphocytes are white blood cells that produce antibodies. White blood cells that produce antibodies. So, in between our body, especially like certain regions, like guys, like the armpit area, the thigh area there, and so the neck region here, and so on. There, there are many lymph nodes. 
So let's just say here in the cells here. Can't can the interstitial fluid is to bathe the cells, but organs to bathe the cells, right? So let's say here we've got bacteria. So the bacteria now gets washed, goes inside the lymph capillary. Once inside the lymph capillary, what's this glamour in it? Lymph. Before lymph is what? Interstitial. Before interstitial is what? Is plasma. So let's say now bacteria goes inside the lymph here. Lymph capillary say, come say, come say, come say, come say, come say. In the lymph nodes called lymphocytes. What will happen is this lymphocytes. If they see got pathogen or bacteria there, they will serve the pathogen. So what happens is your lymph nodes get swollen. That's why a doctor will know if your lymph nodes are swollen, that means indicates an infection. That means because some kind of infection there can be bacteria, there, can be virus, there, or can be some other parasite girl and spagnia. But if your lymph nodes are swollen, it indicates an infection occurring there. Okay, and all this lymph fluid where did it originate from? From the blood. But again, so there must be a way for it to go back to blood. How does it go back to blood? Let's follow until here, guys. This part's all good. Think like this is how the blood vessels are. Let's follow, follow, follow the lipotics, the lipotics, the lipotics, the lipotics, the come, 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 come. So, small lymph vessel, lymph capillaries. Larger lymph vessels are known as lymph vessels. All the lymph vessels in our body will come and gather in two places. How many places? Two places there, which is the thoracic duct and the right lymphatic duct. This is where, this is where the lymph fluid gathers. But look, go back to the blood, no guys, gathers first. Lepa, don't know, before going back to the blood. From the thoracic duct, it will go into the left sub. Clavian way. This bone is called a clavicle bone. Below the clavicle bone, you have this left subclavian way, and this one from the right lymphatic duct will go into the right subclavian way. So it goes into these two veins there. See, guys, veins means automatically you know what? It's already packed in the blood. That means you see, guys, all over our body. Or blood vessels. Whenever got blood vessels, got lymph vessels. Where did the lymph fluid come from? Plasma. Plasma comes out from interstitial fluid. Bathe the cells, give good, good stuff, take away bad, bad stuff. 90% goes back to the blood. 10% gets absorbed into the lymph capillaries, forms lymph fluid. In between our lymph vessels, lymph capillary is small, larger lymph vessels, that's all. So in between our lymph vessels, got lymph nodes. These lymph nodes will have lymphocytes. Lymphocyte is a type of white blood cells. That will destroy pathogen. So if you got infection, then your lymphocytes will tamba, they'll attack, they'll serve the pathogen. That's why your lymph node expands. This is to explain what guys, how the lymph comes back to our blood. Because it originates in the blood, it must have a way to come back to the blood. So there's two places the lymph fluid can gather. Thoracic duct, right lymphatic duct. Dengar je duct duct ni is tempat lymph fluid gathers. After gathering in these two places, gather, gather in these two places here. The lymph fluid will be drained into, drained into the left subclavian vein, drained into the right subclavian vein. Once it goes inside the subclavian veins, it's already back to the blood circulatory system. After that, that these two will go to the vena cava. Vena cava means you already know comes back to the Okay, hopefully this gives you an idea, like guys. What is the function? Uh, how the lymph, how the lymph fluid is formed, and how how it works. That you need to see a little bit more pictures, you know. Okay, you need to see a little bit of diagrams. Check back the latte and the bean. Ask a little bit more of the questions, you know, related to that. Eh, to become clearer that. Okay, boleh ya. Hopefully this Joel's way gives you a start bit on the lymphatic system. That okay, but be clear. Plasma inside. Blood vessel. Once come out, bait the cell is known as interstitial fluid. Interstitial fluid got another name. It's called upper, uh, intracellular fluid. That means it's or sorry, tissue fluid, known as tissue fluid or interstitial fluid. And this one bait cells. After bait cells go inside the lymphatic system, marker decanali sebagai lymph. Lymph fluid is inside the lymphatic system. Okay, so then don't forget the two ways where it gathers. The yang ni gather, gather, yang ni get drain, drain back into left subclavian, right subclavian vein. 
Okay, hopefully this gives you helps you a bit first. Start off with that first the lymphatic system. We continue, we finish up with this lymphatic system before uh net before we go to the next chapter. Okay, that's all guys. Take care, stay safe, take care, bye bye.